What's up everybody? This video is sponsored by Vans Crafts. Go check us out on YouTube, Vans Crafts LLC, all capitalized on Facebook at Vans2020 and on Instagram at Vans Crafts. You guys already know why I'm here. I am a big coffee fanatic. You guys know that I love my coffee. I'm not really much of a light roast coffee guy or you know a medium roast coffee guy now if it's medium dark it's okay but if it's just regular medium roast no can do so if you're one of them people that invite me over to your house for coffee and you turn around and break out the light roast I'm out playing I'm, I'm just gonna act like I don't even know you for a whole damn week but today I'm gonna try something very different this is called the Black Ivory Coffee, guys. Apparently, it's not bitter, and it's really smooth. Now, I'm gonna be 100% honest with everybody. Whenever I try this coffee, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you if it's nasty, or I'm gonna tell you if it's good. There's not really an in-between there. So, before you guys go out and decide to get this coffee, keep in mind that this is the most rarest and most expensive coffee in the world. So one cup of this is I think 60 to $70. That's just for one cup. All right, so let's get into it. Now for the people out there that know me, know that I've been drinking coffee since I was two years old. All right, I remember when my dad, my mom, my grandma, grandpa, you know, whenever they would visit or we'd go visit them, they would have me make pots of coffee for them. And it was something about the, the, the smell of the coffee, the aroma, dude, I immediately fell in love with it. And ever since then, two years old, keep that in mind, I've been drinking coffee. All right, so when I see a coffee that is super rare, of course, I'm going to get it. I'm going to try it, and I'm going to let you know how it tastes. I'm going to be 100% honest. And today... I get to try one of the most rarest coffees. Let's do it. All right, guys. So I have my wife smell it. She doesn't really like the smell. I literally put it into this little uh, correct thing right here. To me, it smells like cherry with a hint of chocolate. That's what it smells like to me. She don't like the smell. But to me, it smells all right. All right, guys, this is what the coffee looks like. Now we're going to taste it without the creamer, without the sugar. So let's do it. Whoa. I'm not going to lie, it's smooth. It is smooth. And it don't have as much bitterness to it, so they were right about that completely. But, um, let's put some cream and sugar in it to see what it tastes like. It's alright without the cream and sugar. But let's put some cream and sugar in it real quick. I've got the cream and sugar in it. I'll put one scoop of sugar in there. And if you guys are wondering, I don't use flavored creamer. Like, I just use half and half. It's like milk and cream. So let's see how this tastes now. I mean, it's... It tastes more like a light roast. And you guys already know that I'm a dark roast guy. Nah, playa. I probably won't be drinking that again. Um, if I had to rate it, dude, it'd definitely get like a 5 out of 10. Just saying, um, it's about halfway there, but it's not like how I love my coffee, honestly. So, like I said, it's more of a light roast. I definitely won't be getting that again. Um... It was, it was better without the cream and sugar in it, obviously. So with that being said, guys, there you go. That's all I had to say. 
I mean, obviously, guys, I'm still going to drink this because, you know, it is a $60 cup of coffee. But um, for you light roast people out there, this could be a new experience for you. You never know. So I would definitely give it a try if you guys love your light roast coffee. But I'm definitely not going to let this go to waste. So see you guys.